Hey everybody, Rubber Mold Man here, and today we're going to do a short video talking about how to seal your concrete, or if you even need to. Now, one thing to keep in mind is we are talking about concrete statues, not concrete patios, concrete driveways. That is something completely different. Even though they're essentially made out of the same components that make up concrete, they are both treated completely different. So I have people ask me all the time. In fact, it's probably one of the most frequently asked questions we get. Do I need to seal my concrete statues? And if so, what do I need to use to seal it with? So I want to make a at the beginning of this video a little disclaimer what i'm going to share with you today is my personal opinions there are various opinions on this subject there are certain products that some people swear by i'm going to share with you folks what my family has uh, learned and what works best for us uh, that we've discovered over the last 50 plus years we've been in the business but i'm sure there's other opinions out there i'm not saying they're wrong i'm simply telling you what works for us now when it comes down to a concrete statue at its core, concrete doesn't need sealed. It's concrete. Concrete can last for decades. I mean, if it's made properly from the start with the right materials, it's vir virtually impossible to destroy it unless you're literally trying to with a hammer or throwing it at it. It should be strong, durable. Most weather will not affect it. The one thing that does affect concrete is if it holds water, if it freezes, water will expand and can cause cracking, or over the years it can cause pitting. But the general rule is if you are in an area that you're going to have hard freezes any of your items that hold water make sure to turn upside down cover at least get the water out that's the main thing sometimes if a piece is sitting in a lot of moisture and freezes that way that can hurt but that's the main thing to remember freezing you know actual moisture ice those things can hurt it otherwise your concrete's fine and sealer of any sort will not prevent the damage that you can get from freezing so let's just talk about your basic statue then as far as uh, if you do need to seal it. Here is what my family learned years ago. We did a test, I, I, this was back in the early 80s. We took, I think there was about 10, maybe 12 of the same statue. And each one we put a different sealer on. And then the last two, one was just paint with no sealer. And then one that was just the raw concrete with no sealer, no paint, nothing. My father did this, he took it, put it out in one of our work buildings outside or along the back and we left it for a year, year and a half. We would check on it periodically. Here's what we found out. After a good year, year and a half, maybe two years, it was out there for a long time, every single statue had damage to it except for the ones that had no type of sealer. The one that was just paint and the one that was completely raw with no paint, no sealer. We found that some sealers caused the concrete to completely crumble. Others turned it yellow and made like a, a nasty looking shell discoloring on it. And others had premature pitting and aging of the statue. So what we determined, at least for us, was that those uh, big expensive cans of sealer that are meant for patios and driveways and that, they did not seem to work good for statuary. So the concrete itself does not need sealing. However, let's talk about if you paint your concrete if you do any type of painting on it paint will not last as long as concrete now in my other videos i give you tips on how to uh, use a proper base coat watering it down so that it'll adhere almost stain the concrete that'll make the paint last a lot longer but it still will not la last as long as the actual concrete underneath the paint so here's what my family has done for decades and some people may disagree with this but i'm going to show you folks and uh, you can use this information as you will we just go to the store and get your standard clear enamel spray. Now, I am not brand spe specific. This is uh, just the cheapest one I find at my local Walmart store. I'll be honest with you. And I'm not sponsored by Walmart. I'm not sponsored by this company. This is what I get because it's the cheapest one. Uh, I use gloss. You don't have to. I like the gloss because it gives the statues a nice shiny look to them, uh, makes them look smoother. Uh, but you can use a, a semi-gloss or even a flat if you're just looking to uh, Keep the uh, dull appearance of a flat paint it's really up to you but all you do is you just literally take this and just spray over your piece real quick just getting a good coat all over don't do it too heavy to where you're starting to get little uh, drips because that'll definitely look ugly but just a quick spritz like that and you're done then at this point you let it dry and your paint is pretty much sealed 
No, it's not a professional concrete sealer that's on there. But again, your concrete doesn't need sealing as far as we're concerned. Your paint could use a little protection. That's where this stuff comes in handy. And it's simple to use, it's cheap, easy to find. It really is the best uh, all around that we have ever discovered. And we have always done this. The only pieces we don't do with uh, a lot of sealer are giant fountains, giant benches and that. Those we just paint and uh, leave them because they're, they're just too big to do, use a spray like this. And we've never honestly seen uh, any much of uh, an issue. Keep in mind, this is more important if you're using a lot of different colors, a lot of bright colors of your detail finishing. This one, for instance, has a metallic finish. Those colors are notorious for fading. Uh, so a little spritz like this will definitely help it last longer. And one thing with this too, if after two, three seasons, your paint's starting to fade a little bit, your statue's looking a little dull, come back and give it another quick shot with this and it'll bring it back to life and make it look nice. And you can do that several times until finally your statue's at the point where it's gonna need a full uh, repainting. So hope that uh, answers your questions. Again, this is uh, just my opinion, uh, my family's opinion, but it works for us. We've never had any issues and we've never been able to find anything that works better. So thanks for watching. We got another video coming soon. Until next time, happy painting.